USD CAD. Uh, USD CAD, we are going to spend some time analyzing it because it's actually uh, very sensitive. Uh, let me just make a short story for you. All in all, I'm expecting for the USD CAD to actually fall a little bit more down until it's actually going to be good to start buying. And we can expect uh, that the USD CAD, one second, like that. USD CAD can be good for buy once it's entering this zone. Uh, let me just explain the reason why. Now, uh, if we want to analyze it more, we need to draw some uh, support trend line right on the same level I have uh, put my uh, support zone. Now, let's check more to the left to find if this level was actually strong as a support or resistance. We can see it was a strong support resistance light right here. It was uh, not a key support, not a key resistance or support yet. Look at that, my friends. Once you once you see this level, we can see that this was not key support. This was also not key resistance. This was not key resistance as well. We need to find if this level was actually very strong as key support or resistance. Looking at these levels, these are neither any of them not a key resistance or support level uh, even in the past i think no matter how far we check this level was not key acting as a key support or resistance level in the past at all however we can expect for the reversal to happen uh, if the market might continue to actually fall a little bit more down that's the reason i draw the zone for you so we can see that the zone that i need maybe to, ex to extend it a little bit like that because we also have a very strong support level right here now this level i believe was a key support level as you can see all let me just uh, fix it right like that let's check more in the past if this line now was acting as a key resistance or support now we can see it right here right here yes that was a key support level and let's see more in the past uh, that was also a key support level uh, Let's go more to the past right now uh, I'm not sure if that was the same line There are two lines here right now, hold on uh, That was the same or not Okay, that's not the same Let's look more to the left To find if this level Oh, look at that Oh, we just, we just went back, sorry And uh, just need to find if this level was acting as a strong key. look at that wow perfect check it out it was a very strong key resistance right here and right here and right here back in 2008 so this level is actually much stronger as a support level so that is the reason we had to give you th this week uh, a support zone to enter instead of a, sp a specific price that it's just uh, like 28 pips therefore uh, the AUD, sorry, the USD CAD might actually continue falling more down until it hit this uh, either this, this support level or this support level. However, it's gonna be really good to start buying once it's entering this zone. Now, this is daily candles we're talking about. Let me go to the four-hour chart. So I need to find where what is the next move or what is the next thing we can do for the USD CAD. Uh, let me just draw some uh, support trend line. Remember, sorry, res a resistance trend line. Remember, we are, we are going to place the buy order. Sorry, the sell order. My God. We are going to place sell order. That's why I need to find uh, the best level to start selling using the uh, resistance trend lines. Therefore, I'm trying here. And let's see. Now, let me tell you something that this price action indicating that we are going to have a pullback especially seeing that the price is currently on this previous support level and this support level that means that we can look this week for a pullback from the USD CAD before it actually continue falling more down to our desired support zone where we can actually start buying the USD CAD so let's just make it short here Let's make it more clear. We can actually start selling the USD CAD like that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. One second, please. Let me just be sure. Uh, just be sure. 
yeah seems like it fantastic fantastic yes all right perfect so once you see the usd cad entering this zone here on near of the level 1 1.31086 we can start shorting the usd cad keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level right here as i mentioned and get ready because we need to start buying the usd cad immediately once it's reached this level and we can keep the trade running all the way until it hit this next resistance level right here just be sure looking more to the left yeah absolutely yes so we can look for again the usd cad is gonna move like this hitting this previous support level uh, finishing the pullback gonna continuous uh, bearish momentum until it hit this previous support level and then the bounce is gonna happen and the pair is going to jump all the way until it hit this previous resistance again uh, this week is gonna be very slow and I don't think the market is going to reverse immediately uh, until the week after uh, allow me just to use another trend line just to be sure that this is the level we can expect for the reversal exactly fantastic fantastic uh, let me just use another trend line just to be sure another trend line like that and then can place it yes that is what I, that is what I'm looking for so we can see again yes it is confirmed that the USD CAD should be good as I mentioned to start buying once it's entering the support zone however uh, hope hopefully this is gonna be happening this week and again uh, yeah that's all thank you guys for watching and for your time